Welcome back to Elden Ring. We were just invited by the Finger Maiden to the Round Table Hold, or Table of Lost Grace. Let's explore this place. There's tons of people to talk to. I believe these are all tarnished, was it? Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the Round Table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Their staff is incredibly cool looking. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots, although it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Look, as long as you're not removing your limbs to be grafted onto the spider, I'm happy. It's all a bit much for me, and I'm still looking for my own. Firehead. Still no pickle. <laughs> ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment, and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet her. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion. I've lost count of them, honestly. She's such a little tomboy. I thought that was just going to be the same thing, but actually there was some new stuff there. To tell me if you meet her. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly. She's such a little tomboy. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I see it. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? I guess I can't. I don't think I can use any of them, but sure. Ah, they sell spells. Oh, I hope there's a sorcery here I can buy spells from. But yeah, there's no point in me getting any of these. May the golden order shine through you. Further study of incantations, is it? No, no. I'm good. Seek monarch. Door. <laughs> I am but a guest. A very rude one. Ooh. Armorer. 
Oh, so many places, so many people. Ah. Clouded mirror stand. Apply cosmetics. What? Oh, like it just allows me to change my character. Okay, well, um, I'm happy with them. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Sure, you can hold me. Ah, my thanks, great champion. Oh, ah, very warm. That's so kind. Although I did see my health bar in the top left do something, and I feel like they just stole some of my HP. Which creeps me out a bit. They did say they wanted some of my vigor, and I'm like, well, what do you mean you're going to steal my life force? And I think they actually might have. I'd have to go back and check the footage to see what just happened. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. What if my health went up, actually? Hmm. Okay, my HP is 619. Can we do it again? I am pleased. Would you like me to... The blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? Yes, I would. Now. 619. Closer. 619. 619. I'm going to look at the top left. Look at my HP bar. See if I can see it move. You are so very warm. Oh, you're the deathbed companion. Talk. They were mentioned in the intro. Right. Well, nothing happened to my HP bar, but perhaps that's because the flame still burns within me. Whatever that means. Talk in secret. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life to do so is the purpose of my being but before i could bear the noble into new life i was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace pray be kind despite all that i still wish to be a deathbed companion so please let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear. I still don't entirely understand if there's something nefarious going on here or not, but I think I actually love their characters so much. Probably either way, whether it is nefarious or not. Oh, they're so cool. Whoops. Sorry. I just... Well, oh, I wanted to read the message. How did somebody get up there without breaking everything? Tree? 
crater ahead. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. The curly boy here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Spirit tuning. Talking about the girl in red, the one who wanted to be grafted. About the chains on your legs. Wait, do they have chains on their legs? Oh, yes, they do. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hole. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Damn. You're a prisoner? No, don't read too much into it. I have no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Of who? I seriously doubt they don't mind that they're a prisoner. Smithing Master Hugh. So we can duplicate Ashes of War. Can sell things. I can use them to put on Ashes of War. Of course I could just do that myself, but I guess you can also do it here. Strength and armament. So they can probably go above the plus three, which I think is the max at the other um, place. All right, um, let's upgrade the Knight Rider Flail. Oh, wow. We can just keep going. Okay, that's as far as I can go. But we got on up to plus five. No door ahead. boss in there but it is a fog door okay how did you get up here no <gasps> okay so i think you have to land on it but you can't touch it until you're like coming down like you can't touch it on the way up you have to like land straight on it or something try tail what? Ah, cramped area. Try jumping. Well, thanks. That was very fun. Key required ahead. Oh, yes. We have like five, I think. There's another one there, too. Krapus' Black Key Crossbow. Black Key Bolt. <laughs> I'm 
trying to see if I can land on one of these objects without breaking it. How do you... I don't understand. Black crossbow featuring a long stock, used for sniping, it has a very long range. Weapon of Krapus, who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. Assassin's Prayer Book. It's a key item. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations. Can give you Assassin's Approach and Darkness. Yeah, I still have this Royal House Scroll. They'll give me Glint Blade Phalanx and Carrion Slicer. Just need to find the person to give it to. Time for fire. Let's try one of the other doorways from the main table. Strong foe ahead. Oh, there's a lot of bloodstains down there. I thought there was no fighting here, though. But obviously there's fighting down there. Comfort ahead. The painting, maybe? Or just the usual comfort of rolling into a bunch of things. It is comforting. Praise the edge. Slug ahead. What do you want? No, oh, I can't speak with them, but at least they gave me that. So by Praise the Edge, were they trying to say like, oh, that's an edgy boy? I think so. They are pretty edgy. First off, you don't have the right. Why is it always destruction? <laughs> Behold, old dear. Twidden maiden husks. Oh, I can offer the bell bearing that we got from Patches, was it? Yeah, Patches bell bearing. Do I have any others? No. Bell bearing shop two, so it gives me access to new items. Ooh. Ooh, things. I like things. Host's trick mirror. Take on appearance of a cooperator. Oh, that's weird. Furled fingers trick mirror. Take on appearance of a host of fingers. That sounds very creepy. Some knight armor. A heater shield. Finger seal. Seals for incantations, right? Here. Oh, they offer three stone sword keys. And a memory stone. Ooh. Yes. Blue cipher ring. Answer requests for summoning from hunters. White ring. When invaded, requests the aid of a hunter. I would love to know how this compares to what I already have. Hmm. Well, actually, I remember enough to know this is worse, actually, because the guard boost on my current shield is, I think, 42, and this one's 38. So, meh. Bell bearing shop 2. It's a lot of buttons just to get to this. It's not a very elegant way to present the new options. 
but there's some very unique stuff here. Gold pickled foul foot. We've only found one of those so far, and I used it forever ago. It's pretty cheap. Boosts rune acquisition for a time. Given the price, I think they'll definitely be worth just getting them all. Margit's Shackle. Briefly binds Margit, once imprisoned, to Earth. What? Who's Margit? It's reusable. Okay, I want to get that just to figure out what the heck it is. Grace Mimic. Light shows the path, but without order. What? What are any of these? I want to buy one of those just to see what it does. Festering bloody finger. Attempts invasion of other players' world. Ooh. A stone sword key. Cookbook. Oh, I want that. Parrying dagger. Horse crest wooden shield. No, it doesn't even block 100% of physical and has worse guard boost than my current thing. Magic protection on it's probably better than what I have, but that alone's not worth it. Okay, I definitely want the cookbook. And I want a Grace Mimic. And I want some Foul Foots. In fact, I'm just going to pop the souls that I have right now and buy some more stuff. Now I can afford Margit's Shackle, so let's get that. And the last Foulfoot. Why is it always don't think? <laughs> what? Oh, is that everything except for the, like, except for the jumping off to the battlefield down here? I think that's everything so far. Yeah. Shall I? Well, I don't want to use any of these things in this, any of those things I got in this weird world because they might not work normally. So maybe I'll just try this. What is this? Slug ahead. Wrath ahead. Weak foe ahead? Mad tongue albrick. Reverential bow. Whoa, game is lagging really bad. All right, we got a dodgy one. I think Ambush Shard might be the way to go. Wow, that keeps missing. Not because they dodge it, but just... Just like missing, missing. Oh, the lag, please. Oh no, they heal. I think somebody needs a whisking. It's giving me a tutorial prompt on bows? What? Why? Why now?
Did it. Whisk him to death. Go fuck yourself, Albrick. What a way to go. <laughs> Taunter's tongue. Lures in invaders. Oh, I can tell Roderica what the blacksmith said about them being a spirit tuner. Tell her what the blacksmith said. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Back out to the lake side of Grace. Let's try some of these things that we got. Grace Mimic. A fetish indicating the guidance of Grace. Similar to Grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way, only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for use by those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. I'm not sure what they mean by it guides the way, but without any sense of order. And the other thing is the shackle. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once-bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. Okay, let's try... the Grace Mimic first? What does this look like? Pointing over there, which is kind of where this is pointing, so it's probably pointing to the same thing. I don't think that item is going to be really helpful. I don't know, maybe. Uh, Margit's Shackle. What? I don't get it. It just makes a light and makes a noise. What's that supposed to do? Definitely doesn't do any, like, damage. The only thing I can think of, this is super far-fetched, but I'm gonna try something. This is the only thing I can think of. At Castle Morn, there was this spirit that was, like, free me, and I didn't know how. Nope. Okay. So, the lake-facing cliffs is telling me to go this way. This is telling me to go this way. So I think I've just kind of skipped the castle. I'm wondering whether I should go back and go in the front of the castle, or if I should go go in what seems to be a side entrance or a back entrance. I guess I'll just go in the back entrance. Give up. No. Never give up. Well done. Just getting started ahead. Jumping. Let there be fruit. Oh, I can give that to the person outside. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. Just lying about hidden paths. Ladder up. God, just look at this view first. That is gorgeous. That is so gorgeous.
Hello? Would you donate them on a pilgrim when I eat? Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Glad to help. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the... Everything's weirdly empty. Like, why are there no enemies? Well done. Oh, I can't even attack in here. Yeah, this is a safe zone. You can see the icon on the left side of the screen indicates that. Okay, but there's also bloodstains here. This doesn't lead anywhere? Huh? How did you all die? Look at that bear boy. Okay, I think I need to go in through the front. So yeah, to go in through the front instead of going north off the road, we just continue with the west bend of the road. That curves around up to the castle. Thank you. Ooh, wild strikes. That's a good one. I wonder if I could apply it to my flail and if that would be better than whisking. Probably not. Whoa. Ah. All right, let's go get it. I'm totally fumbling over my controls right now. There we go. Do it. Oh, do it. If only I could. <laughs> that ghost of someone sneaking up and backstabbing one of these enemies. I love that. There's really no need to kill the whole group. What does a gold summon sign mean again? I don't remember. I'm not going to touch it. I'm scared. Oh, what a set piece. Huh? Is this a boss? 
in search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Margit? Wait, what if I u Can I use your thing against you? Your shackle? Ah, I'm misselecting it. There it is. Oh! Can I just keep using it? Okay, maybe you can only use it like twice in the fight. I was thinking it would be silly if you could just keep using it forever. Wow, what? That's some really good timing on finding that item before even finding the boss. I'm going to use it and then I'm going to whisk him. Let me put some magic, maybe, on my um, on my whisker. Oh, now it doesn't work, but it worked twice before. I'm not exactly sure what makes it work and what makes it not. Maybe it's just how high their health is? Maybe you can't use it if the enemy is like below, I don't know, 70% health or something? I don't entirely understand it. Now I want to know. I suppose we could test that by just trying to use it and not attacking them. That would tell me if it's just a health thing. No, it's not just a health thing. Maybe it has multiple conditions. Maybe it's health or up to two times. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me whisk you.
I think if I had come here much earlier, like if I tried to stick to the critical path, we would be here pretty early and this would probably be hard as hell. It's definitely tough, but I think it's not going to be too bad, especially with Margate's shackle. Yeah, I think that's going to make it a lot easier. Let me just get rid of everything but Margate's shackle and healing so I can switch between them very easily. Wait, what? No, <laughs> I didn't want to drink that. Margit, why did you give me your scrotum? I could have done without this, my dude. <laughs> I hate it. Can I burn it? Fuck. What? What is it? Like, does it allow me to have two talismans or something? Are you a key item? Yes. Increase talisman equip slots. Oh god. I'm gonna be wearing this scrotum around my neck. Small, withered bag. Mm-hmm. Knitted by hand. Bestowed upon the ruling lord or those attempting to become lord by the elderly finger reader. Increases talisman equip slots. As the voices of the two fingers, finger readers are said to live lives eternal. And one is even supposed to have served as a wet nurse to royalty. So I guess I just have two talisman slots now? Yes, I do. Oh, I'll have to think about what I want to put in the other slot. Yeah, I'm quite fortunate that just the way I played the game led me to get the shackle right before actually facing Margit. Without that, that fight for sure would have been still, like, I don't think it would have been too bad, but it definitely would have been much more difficult. Back at the hold, I can speak with the smith about Roderica again. The girl. What about her? Would you watch over her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. It's what she wants. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Can I speak with Roderica about that? If I do, Albert, I suppose I should try and ask me. No. Hmm. I guess we'll just see if something happens next time I come here. I'll just keep checking on him. Let's buy some things from the Maiden Husks. Let's get a memory stone for sure. I guess I want as many stone sword keys as I can get. 
Yeah, let's get two. And I think that's it. This door is open now, by the way. It wasn't before. Probably unlocked when I killed Margit. Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. What do you mean a house guest? Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace, lay low the shard bearers, and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These Nambi Pambi Tarnish think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Look at all these messages on bookcases. I still don't know how to step on anything without crushing it. I can give Brother Corin um, a prayer book. The Assassin's Prayer Book. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Hmm. Hope that wasn't a mistake. Oh, I did a test and I knew it. I used the blessing that we received from Fia, the deathbed companion. And after the effect of it wore off, my max health increased from 619 to 652. So yes, having the blessing on you like, they do suck some of your energy out, and having the blessing on you continues that effect until you use it and, it, and its effect wears off, and then you get it back. I thought they took some of my health. I'm actually kind of surprised it came back. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be that generous. I guess I won't hold that item on me. I don't know. The hugs were really nice, though. Genuinely. They did say I'm like I want some of your <laughs> energy basically like I don't think they were trying to trick me. Anyway, I think this is a good place to end it. I hope you've enjoyed so far and when we return, we're going to continue from Margit the Fell Omen, side of grace and continue on into the castle proper. <laughs>